Hello, let's talk about Everything is Flammable, a graphic memoir by Gabrielle Bell, published in 2017. Uh, Gabrielle Bell is a British-American cartoonist. Uh, she was born in England uh, at about two years, and at about two years of age, she and her mother and brother moved back to, moved back to, to the U.S. I was going to say Canada, back to the U.S., uh, where she now resides in Brooklyn, uh, New York, and has done several several graphic novels. Uh, one of which I have actually uh, reviewed in the past three years ago. I reviewed way back on video number fifty seven. I've reviewed the Voyeurs, and I'll I'll come back to that review because I, I after doing all my notes, I I watched that review just to refresh my memory, and it's kind of interesting how consistent I have been uh, on my uh, views of uh, of of Gabrielle Bell. So this this particular no, uh, memoir, uh, Gabrielle Bell is doing sort of memoirs. I think uh, what her her voyeurs one was called a real time comic memoir, and indeed these these seem to be all little slices of her life. This one uh, starts in 2014, in the summer of 2014, where the main event that kind of kicks off the kind of the main meat of this of this book is her mother who is living. On the very other side of the country, her house burns, her, her, her wilderness house burns down. And this this uh, book sort of details her going back and forth to help her mother. Uh, she find, she gets in she gets into a into a trailer and then um, she helps her mother purchase a, a, a tiny a, a tiny house, a kind of a mob, a mobile tiny house. And um she meets Gus, who is this uh, ex-con uh, fellow who has really poor social skills. Is kind of can be violent, but has also seems quite good-hearted and uh, is 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 helping helping his mother. Is is there for Gabrielle Bell's mother when she can't be when she is indeed across across the other side of the country. So everything is flammable. Uh, the the art style is a uh, very kind of it's it's very 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 kind of a simple simple style. I like all the black cross hatchings in in the work. It's very it is for the most part a very wordy comic. It's not about uh, grand vistas of you know superheroes swooping across the sky, which is probably why doing the kind of the six all the all the panels are uh, six panels. Per page six square panels per page, which is good because it sort of lends lends that kind of everyday quality to it. There's also just a thing of uh, it's it's slightly claustrophobic, subdued. Uh, there's a bit of there's a lot of sort of stress and anxiety that resides within uh, the Gabrielle Bell that is depicted de depicted in the depicted in these pages. So that that all that that kind of that that that's the style and the layout kind of all work together to uh, get get that get that feeling get the feeling across because it's very much a book about sort of <laughs> the stresses and anxieties of 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 being uh, Gabrielle Bell I guess um, you know that the star of this book um, like with the voyeurs which I discovered re rewatching re my review of that is her relationship with her mother. Her mother has had a very hard life. She's, it seems like uh, her choices in partners, I'm quite sure about the, her, her that uh, Gabrielle's father, but a lot of other men that she's had in her life have turned out to be violent and kind of ang angry, angry people that have sort of left her pretty, pretty uh, not very well capable of, of um, maneuvering life. And indeed, uh, one of the things of this book is but Gabrielle Bell, you get to feel like, oh, we're sort of, she's reached to this point in her relationship with her mother where she's helping her mother. She's being, the the, the roles reverse, you know, where uh, the parent is supposed to kind of help and nurture and, and take care of the child. At a certain point, the child gets old enough where they are they're put into sort of a um, a caregiver a caregiver role role and even a caregiver at a distance which can make things uh that that more stressful um you know and bell bell herself is sim someone who seems to be kind of filled with anxieties a lot of this book you have her you'll you'll have moments of her just lying 
lying in, awake in bed with insomnia, worrying and worrying and thinking and thinking and stuff like that. There's a, a little side thing where she's just anxious about the the little plant, the little grow, plants that are growing in her uh, in her Brooklyn, her outside of her Brooklyn apartment. That she's she's anxious over that. So there's there there's that kind of quotidian. But just very kind of like, oh, it's just, it's still kind of, it's that daily grind of life, which is, is, gets, gets really well done. Um, there's, there's other things. That, so there's that main kind of flow through with her, with her mother, um, taking her to the DMV, kind of working with the bureaucracy, um, a very huggy, uh, a small house salesman who wants to give, give people hugs all the time. And it's sort of just like, it's one of these kind of matter of fact things, but you also sort of feel like it's, it feels kind of creepy. I it's it's it, and you're kind of it's the thing where Bell's art not being that that detailed is kind of just very kind of it's somewhat flat. You're just sort of like you're trying to as a reader you're trying to figure things out, uh, which is it kind of pulls you pulls you into pulls you into this into the um, the memoir into the story. Bell's not telling you oh this guy is a creep. It's just like this guy wants to hug her and hug her mother and invite them over for, for, to do stuff. And it's like, what's all is like, is he just really friendly or is he, it feels like it's, it's slightly creepy. So that was just something that hooked, hooked into me. Oh, there's a section here. Um, a lot of the sections are, it has a fragmentary feel where you'll have like, I'm doing fine or, uh, my friends help me. They're little subheadings, impediments. So you can see that this maybe was, um, while it maybe is is been assembled to be a whole graphic novel, it's called her first full length graphic novel. Uh, it still feels very much of parts, and you get little segments and little s s snippets. There's one s segment in here which is ghost cats, which is her remembering all the cats that she's sort of ha known in in her life, and uh, the kind of the sad endings that a lot of them have. Finding one dead here. There's a one scene where. Uh, her beloved dog Freya and a couple of other Rottweilers basically t they be they get into pack mentality and they base they they chase down uh, this cat that is that ha that they that they've taken in red and it does not go well does not go well for the cat there's there but it's also just sort of a thing of these are animals and um, there's things about bears in here there's there's um, there's for all the kind of the talky kind of urbanite. Uh, in in the book of someone who's from Brooklyn, who thankfully doesn't spend most of the story isn't Brooklyn with his with her Brooklyn friends, which would trigger me because it did trigger me in uh, the voyeurs of like ah oh, those Brooklyn hip hipsters get off my lawn get off my rural boony lawn or whatever. Um, but uh, you know where you're just sort of tired of hearing those voices because they're so much at the center of a certain kind of publishing thing. But this is this this escapes that because it's much more spent with her mother. Uh, in 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 kind of uh, a very rural rural wa slash wild space with uh, you know somebody's playing with their AK forty seven over the hill. It's it's just like it's it's a it's a different place. So it kind of frees things up, and it's a good kind of fish out of water kind of feeling for Gabrielle Bell, where you you uh, you feel like you get to know her uh, in a much more sympathetic setting, <laughs> at least for me, I guess a sympathetic setting. Um, I guess I would just finish off with, I had this reaction. It's funny because I went back, as I said, I went back and watched the voyeurs and the voyeurs was something I said at the end of it. Like, well, after I finished reading it, I didn't think too much of it. I was apt to dismiss it. And there's very much the same case with everything is flammable. When I finished, I went, oh, that kind of petered off. Eh, I don't know, you know, if it was particularly anything, you know, worth worth talking about. But the more I sort of sat down and I reviewed the sections and I kind of looked at stuff and I looked at, oh, you know, she got to actually, she's she's someone who could have like really been judgmental, really harsh on her mother, uh, really rejected her, you know, never talked to her, um, not come to her aid when when she the chips were down. But she did, and she went there, and she's she did these interviews with her, just talking about her life and finding that she was somebody who was like really kind of damaged by her life about having to, the struggles of having to raise four kids with violent partners and things like that. And, but, you know, you can see her having um, a real empathy for her mother. Uh, and there's other things of empathy that Gabrielle Bell shows through here, which I don't think are there to pump her up as like, oh, look at how wonderful person I am. But just like, ah, this kind of, 
an autobiographical memoir, you think, okay, this is going to be somebody who's just completely up their own butt. Uh, and that's not, that's, that, that is actually kind of one of these wonderful things with this book is like, no, she's interested in her mother. She, she, uh, sees a woman, uh, in, in, on the streets who's having a drug reaction and comes to, comes to her aid. And it's like, there's some, there's some empathy here, which, um, sometimes you don't get in, uh, autobiograph you get in memoirs. It's all about me, 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 me. So, which makes it all the more, um, kind of interesting and it greatly expands expands the world and i'm speaking of this as somebody who's up my own my own in in my own head a lot of the time and you can see someone like her who's got all this anxiety and worries uh would could that could easily be her her fate as well but there's something about she shows herself taking notes for stuff as she's going along and using that as kind of an excuse to talk to her mother uh which um you can see that this is one of these things that maybe saves her from just being an inward person who doesn't, who doesn't welcome in the world, which uh, really raise really raises this book up for me uh, in a way that it's quite surprising uh, how you can how 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 your view of a book can change over just like a couple of days of just like oh thinking about stuff and uh, reflecting on it. So yeah, everything is flammable, uh, anxiety and uh, you know. Uh, the 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 you, you have to catch things before they are they all they do the time before time burns everything up and you don't have that chances anymore which uh yeah yeah that's that's uh that's a lesson sometimes we don't learn quickly enough all right i will leave it there more videos later <laughs>